Jerry at Fair Oaks. Uh, telegrams must go right out, won't they? Oh, yes, Mr. Randall, right away. Would you like confirmation of delivery? Uh, no, that won't be necessary. Wait a second. Yeah, yes, uh, have them confirm delivery of both of them. Yes, sir. Will you be in the hotel? Yes, I'll be in the dining room for dinner, and if I'm not going to be in the hotel later, I'll leave word with the clerk where I'll be. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Randall. Okay. Well, your uh, table is ready, Mr. Randall. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll uh, I'll be right in as soon as my young guests arrive. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, Jerry, over here. Oh, gee, this is sure a surprise, Mr. Randall. I should <laughs> say it is, sir. We haven't eaten anywhere except the mess hall and Mac since I came to Faro. <laughs> well, I I thought it might be a nice change for you. Oh, I sure is. Golly, it's like old times with the circus, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, are you lads ready for dinner? Oh, we sure are. All right, come along into the dining room. Gee, this is a nice hotel. I've never been in here before. Have you, Lee? Oh, just once, when Uncle Ross and Mrs. Thorpe brought me up here to Fair Oaks. Oh, yeah. See, Mr. Randall, there are a lot of people here, aren't there? Mm-hmm, quite a few, son, yeah. yeah I wonder what they're all doing in Fair Oaks. Well, I uh, think most of them are traveling people, Jerry. You know, uh, salesmen. Oh, yeah, sure. Fair Oaks is quite a thriving little city. This is probably one of their best stops. Uh-huh. Well, right here, Mr. Randall. Here's your table. Oh, all right, thanks. Come along, boys. All right. Yes, sir. A menu, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. Well, uh, what are you boys going to have? Well, uh, I think I'll have... Uh, uh, what are you going to have, Lee? Uh, well, I, I don't know yet, Jerry. Uh... <laughs> How would you like to have me order for you, boys? Oh, oh yes, yeah. well. <laughs> All right. And we'll have the vegetable soup, chef salad, uh, filet mignon. How do you like your steaks, boys? Lee? Huh? Oh, uh, just medium, I guess, sir. I'll take mine the same, please. All right, that's all right for me, too. Uh, baked potatoes. Spinach? Well, uh... Jerry, you'll take spinach and like it. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Milk, boys? Mm-hmm, yes, please, sir. Yeah, I'll uh, have some coffee later. We'll decide on the desserts later, too. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, Lee, uh, I got the telegram off to Mr. Thorpe. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm sure he'll give us permission for you to join Jerry and Bruce during vacation time, even though you'll have to go on to Mapleton afterward instead of coming back to Fair Oaks. Yes, sir. You don't look forward very much to leaving the academy, do you, son? No, sir, I certainly don't. Well, Lee, it may seem a little peculiar to you that uh, I came up here to Fair Oaks two days before the midterm exercises. Well, sir, I just thought you were taking a little extra vacation yourself. Mm, Yes, I I know that's what I told you, but that wasn't it at all. Oh? Nope. Uh, Yesterday afternoon, I received a long-distance telephone call from your roommate here. Oh, will you call Mr. Randall and ask him to come up early, Jerry? Uh, uh, yeah, Lee, I did. You see, Lee, Jerry had something on his mind that he wanted to ask me before the end of the term. Well, there were really two things, Mr. Randall. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's two. Well, uh, Lee already knows the first one. Uh, about the invitation to spend vacation with him at Circus Winter Quarter. That's sir. right, that's right. But, uh, 
Well, the, the second idea that Cadet Jerry Dugan cooked up is really quite a bit more important than the first one, Lee. Oh, is that so, sir? Yeah, quite a bit more important. Jerry, uh, why don't you tell Lee what it is right now? Oh, uh, right now, huh? I think this is as good a time as any, don't you? Well, sir, I... I thought you... I mean... Oh, you, uh, you want me to tell Lee, is that it? Yes, sir. No, son, it's your idea, and I think you should tell Lee about it. Uh, go ahead, Jerry. Well, it's like this, Lee. You know, I told you about that property my dad left me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know about that. And that a railroad company wanted to buy your property so they could build a branch line over it, wasn't that it? Yeah. Well, uh, I've got quite a lot of money in the bank, Lee. And, and well, I, I want to lend you enough money so you can come back to Fair Oaks next term and, and finish up this year. What do you say? Well, thanks, Jerry. That means a lot to me, just your offering to lend the money to me. But, well, I can't take it. Why not? Well, because... Well, Jerry, if the business back home is as bad as Mr. Thorpe says it is, well, I might never be able to pay you back. Oh, well, gee, I don't care, Lee. I don't care if you never pay it back. <laughs> well, that's swell of you, but I... You know, I, I can't take it. Oh, golly. Ready for the soup, sir? Uh, oh, yes, yes, fine. Very good. All right, boys, start in. Um, and Lee. Mm, yes, sir. Suppose I could get Mr. Thorpe's permission for you to borrow the money from Jerry. Would you be willing to accept a loan under those conditions? No, sir, no, that wouldn't make any difference. I... Well, uh, let me put it this way. Suppose we were to find out that this, uh, well, this situation in the organization of Waterman and Phillips is just temporary, that... Without any doubt, in a few months, everything would be all right again. Then, uh, would you accept Jerry's loan? Well, I suppose that it... Wait a minute. Waterman and Phillips. Well, you know the name of the... Yes, I do, son. I know the name of your father's business. And I knew your father, too, very well. Oh, gee, I... Lee, I've been doing business with Waterman and Phillips for years. I've bought all my advertising paper from your dad for more than 15 years. Well... Gee, what do you know about that? Golly. As a matter of fact, I've just been to Mapleton and made arrangements for the printing of all my circus posters and billboards and handbills for next season. I, uh, I don't know what this situation is that's forcing you to leave Fair Oaks, Lee, but whatever it is, I'm certain it's not going to last. I'm sure it's just purely temporary. Now, uh, what do you say about taking Jerry up on his offer? Well... Oh, gee, this is all so kind of sudden. I'm... All right, all right, then. You you think it over. Uh, I'll tell you another good idea. Finished with the soup, Mr. Randall. Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, of course. Take it away. Yes, sir. Uh, I was going to suggest this, too, Lee. Yes, sir. That uh, if Mr. Thorpe allows you to come to winter quarters with Jerry and Bruce, we'll take a little run down to Mapleton from Melrose City during the vacation time and... I'll have a talk with Mr. Thorpe about this loan business. Oh, say, Mr. Randall, that'll be swell. Golly, yeah. Then we can see your old home, Lee, the one that Mr. Thorpe bought. Well, yeah, sure you can. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Thorpe bought your old home, did he, Lee? Mm -hmm, yes, sir. After Dad died, Mr. Thorpe thought that we'd better sell the place out in the country. And he also bought the house in town for himself and Mrs. Thorpe. I see. A big house, is it? Mm, well, yes, sir, I guess it is pretty big. Fourteen rooms. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Thorpe pay a pretty good price for it? Price? Oh, I don't know anything about that, Mr. Randall. Uh -huh. See, he told me he'd take care of everything through the bank. Uh, I understand. Oh, well, here's our dinner, lads. Mm. Well, let's forget business and loans for a while and enjoy our steak. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can certainly enjoy mine a whole lot more right now, Mr. Randall, after you've told me that you're sure this thing that's happened to the business won't last long. Why, <laughs> sure, son. That's a way to look at everything anyway. You know, more people suffer from fear in this world of ours than actual misfortune. <laughs> well, come on, dig in. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the steak's all right. Um, uh, how's the spinach, Jerry? Spinach? Oh, well... All uh, right, now, all right. You dig into that spinach, too, young man. <laughs> if you don't, you won't get any dessert. Oh, golly. Well, here goes, then. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, pardon me. Telegram for you, Mr. Randall. Tell Oh, you mean the uh, confirmation of delivery, don't you? Oh, sir. This is a straight message. Oh, 
All right, thanks. That's quick service. I wonder if it's from Mr. Thorpe, Lee. Yeah, I wonder, too. Mm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Well, say, this uh, steak will get cold if I don't get at it pretty soon. Uh, Mr. Randall. Yes, Jerry? That, that telegram, was it, was it from... Uh, yes, son, it was from Melrose City. Oh. Well, well I mean, was it from... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, it was from Mr. Ross Thorpe. Aw, oh, gee, Mr. Randall, quit kidding, won't you, please? Please tell us what he said. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll tell you. In fact, I'll read it to you. <clears throat> Mr. Sam Randall, care of uh, Fair Oaks Hotel. Fair Oaks... Oh, Mid- golly, go ahead, Mr. Randall. <laughs> all right. Glad to grant permission Lee Phillips visit your circus with his roommate. Stop. Happy the boy can enjoy vacation before returning home here, Ross Thorpe. Happy! Oh, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Oh, gee, I forgot where I was. <laughs> Isn't that swell, Lee? <laughs> oh, you bet it is. Oh, thanks, Mr. Randall. That's all right, son. I'm more than tickled that Jerry's going to be able to show you all the sights of the circus and give you a little taste of circus life. And, say... I'm glad because of another reason, too. What's that, Mr. Randall? That you'll be kept so busy showing Lee around that you'll be out from under my feet while you're there. (laughs) (laughs) Well, then, it's all settled. Now, you see, Jerry Dugan, you see how easily things work out in this old life of ours if we we just look at our problems with a sense of humor, take them apart, and see what started them in the first place? Sure, sure, there... There isn't a problem in this world that couldn't be solved if everybody would go after trying to find a solution that way. Yeah, I guess you're right. Pardon me. I'm sorry to bother you again, Mr. Randall. That's all right. What is it? Uh, This telegram. Another one has come for you, sir. Oh, all right. Thanks. Hmm. Mr. Randall. Yes, son? Is that... I mean... Well, excuse me, I I didn't mean to be rude. I, I was just oh, wondering... Well, that's all right, Jerry. No, uh, this isn't another telegram from Mr. Thorpe. It's uh, one in answer to a wire I sent to Jim Bennett. Jim Bennett? At the circus, huh? That's right. But this is one telegram I can't read to you for a while yet. <laughs> 